In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. God bless you so much for joining me again today. Today is our fourth day um, in our tarry, tarry <coughs> until GB and do with power journey. Amen. It's been awesome so far and I cannot wait for us to get into prayer. But before we get into prayer, I need you to get some warm water. Okay. So that those of you fasting for your throat and for, for your internal faculties. <laughs> I hear you understand what I'm trying to say. So get, some, get you some, some warm water. You can even put a little honey in the warm water and just make sure at least you have some kind of uh, glucose going into your system to keep you going. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want you to pick up your phone and I want you to share. All right. I want you to share with somebody. They may be at work. They may be on break. But share because the good thing about it is that they can always come back and watch. And those of you that, that have been with me from day one until now, you can always go back. If you feel like you are struggling to pray and you can't, you can't, you can't get, get past this level, go back and listen to it. Just allow it to pray in the background. And by the time you realize, ah, you catch the fire. All right? So share it. I'm sharing mine here, you to also share it. And as you are sharing, just pray in the Holy Ghost. I'll be right back. Lebra Zanta Labaha. Repa Papa Dabra Zunta Padaha. Ebrenta Lebazuta Branda Dadaha. Zemekumba Branda Valebranda de Bazuka Pa. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Bible says that he that speaketh in tongues edified himself as we learned yesterday you build up your spirit man so we'll be doing a lot of tongue speaking today so I want you to prepare yourself and I'm trusting God for an encounter that would just be mind blowing. Am I making sense to you? So prepare yourself as we get that, get that ourselves to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to stir up yourself in your most holy faith. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and just pray in the Holy Ghost. Let begin to enjoy. At this point, you must be enjoying prayer. Pray in the pray in the Holy Ghost to twelve fifteen, and then we take off. Just pray. Kabra na bazanta ya, yebrenta brento zeka, yebrenta le baba ya, yekebrenta le le baba ya, lebrenta le le baba ba, re baba ba zaba ne brenta le baba, lebrenta ba la baba, lebrenta le le baba, re baba ba zamrenta ba ya, lebrenta le baba za, lebrenta ba ba, yebrenta le le baba, lebrenta le le baba zaba, re baba ba ba zamrenta le le baba, lebrenta ba le baba zamrenta le le baba. Yes, Lord. Ibranka baba ba ya branta la ba ha ya branta la ba janta la la ba ha ibranta la la ba janta la la ba ha rima ba ba banka ba ra ba 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 jabra la ba ha le branta la la ba ha rima kanta la la ba 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 jabha ra ba 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 jabra ta da da ha ya branta la ba ba zonto branta ba ya ke branta la la ba ba jabha ibranta la ba zinka ba 
Come on, stir up yourself in your bosomy feet. Feet are begin to shake off the tiredness, begin to shake off the bed in that heaviness that is trying to suppress you from being able to pray. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. As you pray, you begin to feel that there will be a lifting, and now there will be an overwhelmness of a supernatural strength that will begin to boost you up to be able to pray. In the next five minutes, pray in the Holy Ghost. Some of you, we have not even started, but you're going to begin to sense fire all around you. You're going to begin to sense fire under your feet. You're going to begin to feel a burning sensation in your abdomen. The work of the spirit has begun. Come on, continue to exercise your spiritual muscles. Rita Lebre and the Rabata, Lebre and the Brenda, the Hat, Ikibri and Tanabranda, Eya Baba Baba Zarabata, Branda, the Branda Badada, the Abranta, the Abranta, the Abranta, the Abranta, the Brondo, the Zondo, the Brenda Becubande, the Brianta, the Badoza, the Branta, the Baha, Rabba Baba, the Abel Branda, the Labazun, the Rebaha, the Abranta, the Baha, the Abranta, the Baya. Ya branta le branta le ba 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 ya ya ka branta ba le ba ba zanta ya ya branta le ba branta ba ba ya ya branta le le ba 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 zanta ya ya branta ba branta ba branta ba zanta le le ba ya branta ba branta ba branta ba ka ba ya ba ya branta ba branta ba branta ba zanta le le ba ya branta ba branta ba branta ba ya ba ya branta le le ba branta ba zanta le le ya 
in the name of jesus now i want you to lift up your voice and begin to acknowledge him the bible says that jesus said that when you pray say our father who art in heaven begin to acknowledge him if he is your father say our father my father if he's your god say my god if he's your deliverer say my deliverer oh lord my god my deliverer my shield my truth my buckler ah my all in all the god is in whom I live, move, and have my being. You get it, you get it, right? Come on, lift up your voice and begin to acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. If he is your strength, tell him you are my strength. My strength. The sweet rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley. Makalubri anta Imranda Baya. Adonai is your name. El Shaddai is your name. Elohim is your name. El Elyon is your name. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rohi, Rapada, Jehovah Raphael, Ramakunda, Ramadu, Dede, Kebeli, Baula, Rata, Labakuma, Nanaya, Kataya, Zikikiri, Kiteri, Kapata, Likurumunumu, Zititi, Tata, Rada, Dabuka, Yata, Rata, Tata, Labaha, Kama, Pray, Pray, Rima, Mama, Mazunda, Labaha, Ruzata, Labranta, Labaha, Imranta, Baya, Yabada, Bada, 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 you alone are worthy of God. You alone are mighty. And as you come, I shall acknowledge him. Begin to bless him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to lift his name up. For he alone is God. He is alone. He alone is God. He alone is worthy. He alone is mighty. He alone is glorious. He alone is magnificent. Ibran Namazan Tanabaha, Rebadabra Baba Baba Shabra Baha, Ibran Tanabra Baha, Yabadabra Mazan Tanaba Baba Baba Shabra, Rabana Baba Baba Mazan Tanaba, Lebran Tanaba Baba, Yabran Tanaba, Yabran Abadaba, Yabran Abadaba, Yabran Abadaba, Yabran Abadaba, Ibran Abazan Tanaba, Yabran Tanaba Shabba, Ibran Tanaba, Yabran Abadaba, Ekaba Baba. You alone are God, you alone are mighty, you alone are glorious, you alone are magnificent, you alone are mysterious, you alone are God. Ibranda Zanta, Ibranta, Rabaha, 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 you alone are God. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we come to the throne of grace by the blood. I want you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice. Plead the blood. Soak yourself in 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 the blood. Lift up your voice and say, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I soak myself in the blood. I wash myself in the blood. In the name of Jesus. The blood protects. The blood sanctifies. 
the blood consecrates makuria tara badabranda dabazuka branda the blood because the blood has pleased the father the blood because that is what the father says the blood because it is final because god says that if you come by the blood of jesus then i have accepted you so lift up your voice and plead the blood of jesus not the blood of cats not the blood of goats not the blood of dogs not the blood of bulls but the blood of jesus the blood of jesus that speaketh a better word than that of abel's blood that is spotless without a wrinkle plead the blood of jesus the blood upon my children the blood upon my wife the blood upon my wife's family the blood upon my family the blood upon the ministry the blood ripped up upon the businesses the blood in the name of Jesus the Bible says that because of the blood we can now come boldly and we have applied the blood so now we are before the throne of grace how many of you believe that you may be sitting at your physical place but spiritually you are before the throne of grace you are before God Hey, Kataraba, Kapanda, da, 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 yeah. Because of the blood, we are standing before him. So now we are going to pray that he extend his mercy to us. In the name of Jesus, pray that God extend your mercy to me. I pray for mercy, your compassion, my tire, Pray for mercy. And as you pray for mercy, begin to seek for grace. Because as you pray for mercy, you will find grace. Come and lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus, it is only before God you find grace libra ta papa yamra na bakabo pray the mercy i plead for your mercy i pray for mercy for your mercy so god i knew every morning and today i need your mercy today i need your mercy today i need your mercy rata kapa yamra na maza ye brenteleba for the next 5 minutes pray for the mercy remama mama for your children for your husband for your loved ones for your ministry for your business uh, concerning your finances uh, pray for mercy iman taraba baba raba baba jamamna namazan talaba raba baba kapa rebanta na baba baba ibran talala bazanta ya ibran talala baba jamran namana ibran bana na bazanta na baba rebabran talala baba baba ibran dalala baya raba baba jamran namana namaha ya bana bana na baba na bazanta na baba raba na bana na baba na bazanta na baba Rabba 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 Rabba
Show us mercy, show us mercy today, show our children mercy, show our wife's mercy, show our husband's mercy, show our to be mercy in the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I, I feel the presence of God. I don't know about you, but I feel the sweetness of His presence. I feel like dancing. I feel like rolling. I feel like jumping. I am hearing in my spirit, wrap me in your arms. Let that be a prayer. Tell him that wrap me in your arms, oh God. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms. Come on, come on, come on. Lift up the voice. We are stepping to the next dimension. Tell him, wrap me in your arms, oh God. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms, oh God. God, wrap me in your arms, oh God. Rabba de be de de be de ba zuta la ba da da ya da 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 ya. Iwa la ba zuto le be de be de de ba de de ba ba da da ba zan de de ya. Ika ba da ba da da ba zuto le le de be de de be de de ba. Ika ba da ba da da ba zuto le ya da 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 ya. Ya ka ba ya ba da 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 ba zuto ya da da ya. Ibe de de be de de ba da da ba zuto ya da da ba. Rabba ba, rabba ba. Ya pa ya pa ya pa. Ya ba la ba zan de la ba. La ba zan de ya. Kabale ba, yebra na ba ba shaba, masata la ba ba ya, ra ba 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 shaba, ra ba ba ba, imanta bra na ba, ebrente le le le, ya mana mana na masanta la la ba, ba ba bra kapa ya, ya bra na ba ba shaba, ra manta la la ba, ya na bra na 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 masanta la la ba, ya bra na ba na na ba na na ba na na ba masanta la la ba na na ba na na ba, ya bra na ba na na ba na na ba pa ya, ramen ya amzogar, ramen. Wrap me in your arms, oh God. Wrap me in your arms, oh God. Wrap me in your arms. Wrap me in your arms, oh Lord. Rema ma brazanta ya ba 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 zaka pa na ba na ba. Hey ya ba shata la ba na 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 ya ba na ba ya. Ibranta ya, ya kapapa, ya brada ba, ya da brada, ya brada ba, ya brada ba, ikrabaka, 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 ya mrana na, imrana mana, ya mrana mana na ya, ibrada da ya, ya brada do, ya kebrada, ya brada do, ya kebrada, ya brada do, ya kebrada, ya brada shaba, ibranta ba, ya mrana ma, ya mrana ma, ikabada ba, ibran. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you are with me, I want you to turn your Bibles with me to John. No, no. Jeremiah chapter 20, 29. Oh, Jesus. Zebra de de bazanta branda kapale branda de ha. Imbrende brede de bazika branda da da bazui le 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 rete de brende le reke te reke te riba dosha branda da da ya. Jeremiah chapter twenty nine. I'm reading from verse number eleven. 
I'm reading from the verse number 11. Oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 Lord. If you have it, just give me a thumbs up. Don't worry, don't worry. I can feel you in the spirit. I read. The Bible says that for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Sayeth the Lord. And then he goes on to explain the kind of thoughts that he has for them. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. No man at any point knows the thought of God except God himself. And God is saying to the people of Israel, because at this point, they are being, uh, 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 they are being carried away as captives uh, uh, to Babylon. And God is telling the prophet that you are going to spend 70 years in Babylon uh, due to the nature of the kind of life that you were living. You understand? That's to give you a contextual background. So imagine... Imagine how they will feel that we as the people of God, God has forsaken us and blase, 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 brada, ba, da, 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 and all kinds of thoughts. And God now comes to them through the prophet to give them an assuring word that I don't think evil of you, but rather I have thoughts to give you peace. And to give you an expected end. Am I making sense? So now that you have the idea of the contest, now I'm coming to you directly. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. And we are praying. Don't worry, we're praying. This is just passing through. But I need you to understand that your circumstance and your situation does not determine the thoughts that God has concerning you. The fact that you may be going through a process now in life does not mean that God has forsaken you or God has thrown you into the wolves. The thoughts of God concerning you is holy and pure. To give you peace in every area and aspect of your life. So let me name a few. Give you peace in your finances. That means that if you're able to pay your bills on time, pay your rent on time, everything is on time, and you have more than enough in your account to survive off, to live off, and to enjoy the kind of life you desire, it is also peace to give you a husband. Young ladies nowadays, uh, when they reach a certain age, uh, they begin to they begin to waver in belief. Hey, me pa me and I made the twenty seven, and I made the thirty, and I made the forty, and I make the fifty, and I be my be and pon say me pa. No man has even come to tell me that they like me. No man even wants to, wants me desire me. Listen, 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 listen. He says that the thoughts that I have concerning you is to bring you peace. So if you are in a situation that is not peaceful, then you have to understand that God's mind is to bring peace in that area. And on top of that, to bring you to an expected end, an end of glory, an end of praise. Yesterday when we spoke and we spoke, we spoke, he says that he is going to know, he's going to refresh his people and he has created his people for himself to show forth his praise. So anything about you that will bring praises to God is an expected end. You understand? So I need you to know that. I need you to know that. Then the Bible says that, Then ye shall call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and this is what I want to talk about, and ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all of your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. 
and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. And this is the promise that God made the people of Israel. So one of the ways that, 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 that makes you know that you have found God is that your captivity has been turned around. And I'll leave it to the Holy Spirit to, to, to define captivity to you in various dimensions of your life. But he says, when you seek me, you will find me. What does it mean to seek God? What does it mean to seek God? To seek God is a desire to search in order to find. A desire to search in order to find. So if one wants to find something, that means the person must be determined to find that very thing. So, 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 so in other words, the value you place upon God in your life will now determine the amount of time you will invest in seeking him. Let me repeat that. The value you place upon God in your life will determine how much time you invest in seeking him. Libra da Zakapa. Ibalia do Shabranda Kariada da Bazantala da Baha. So he's saying that if you seek, you will find. Now, to find means one of the meanings of finding is what? To meet him. You will meet him. He will come and he will meet you. That is to say, to have an encounter. And that is what I want. And that is why I am tarrying. To have an encounter with divinity that will transform my humanity. So in seeking him, you will have an encounter. And that encounter will transform your humanity to the supernatural. But he says something here. That the seeking that needs to be done must be done with all of your heart. With all of your heart. So the Bible says that God weighs your actions and your actions are a byproduct of what is already in your heart. So if in your heart you genuinely love God and you really cannot do without him, then there will be no such excuses as to why you cannot pray. There will be no excuses as to why you cannot read your Bible. There will be no excuses as to why not to listen to anointed messages that would develop your knowledge. There should be no excuses excuses of why you cannot go to church services i hear people saying that we love god and we want god we want to serve god but then we find excuse why we cannot i think this morning the lord was saying something to me and, and as i'm speaking to you it just dropped on my heart so i'm going to share it with you he says that he said that, I, I, write, I write it down. He said that, if God did not spare his son, why should you use yours as an excuse not to serve him? It just dropped in my spirit. And you know, mothers tend to use their babies and their children to be excused why they can't pray. To be excused why they can't wait upon the Lord. To be an excuse why they can't seek the face of God. And God is saying, I did not spare my son. I did it for you. So why are you using yours as an example? I gave up my son for you. Why are you using your job as an excuse? 
Why are you using your boyfriends as an excuse? He's not married you anyway. Why are you using your husband as an excuse, your wife as an excuse as to not seeking God? Oh, heartedly. Oh, heartedly. Oh, heartedly. If you seek him, you'll find him. And one of the ways we seek God is prayer. Another ways we seek God is through the word. Spend time reading the word. Spend time praying the word. Spend time in the word. One of the ways we seek God is also worship. So if, if you can see, I am praying with you. I'm sharing the word of God with you. I'm also enjoying worship. One of the ways you see God is by service in his house. There have been numerous, numerous, numerous testimonies as to how people were janitors cleaning the toilets, cleaning things in the house of God, and they encountered an angel. Even the Bible says that Zachariah, who was on his priestly duties, encountered an angel whilst he was in service. But thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your substance. I don't want to enter this door, but there are people that, that have given money, given money, and invested time in prayer. That even God himself sent an angel to encounter them and said that you're giving and your prayer has become a memorial before me. So I can't sit in heaven and expect you not to be saved. Go and call Peter so that he can speak the words of God to you. So we are going to pray, my brother, my sister watching me. We are going to pray. We are going to pray and then the prayer is that I want to see you. I want to encounter you. I want to behold the beauty of your holiness. Tarry until the glory shows up. Tarry until you encounter divinity. I can sense fire climbing my legs all the way down my chest. I can feel fire all over me. I am telling you that this thing works. Lift up your voice and say, God, I want to see you. I want to have an encounter. I want to behold you. David said, one thing have I desired, and that will I seek after her uh, to behold the beauty of the Lord. Uh, lift up your voice and begin to pray. You said if I seek you, I will find you. So Lord, uh, let my seeking uh, result into an encounter. Lift up your voice and pray.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we are still praying I see one of my fathers in the Lord on the stream Reverend Zico of Victory Bible Church Yonkers God bless you for tuning in I, I, I am so encouraged God bless you God bless you the Bible says that when blind Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus that was passing by the guy could not hold his peace I'm not making sense to you because he knew that listen I, 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 this is the day this is the day this is the day the Bible says that when Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was that one passing by you know Zacchaeus was an uh, was a man of an average height you understand so so Zacchaeus decided that I am going to climb the tree because I want to see this Jesus and, and by reason of risking his life uh, to climb a tree Jesus says Zacchaeus uh, today I'm coming to your house you know there are some things that you can do to provoke and to attract God there are some things you can do to provoke an encounter there are some things you can do to attract God I'm not making sense to you lift up your voice uh, and begin to pray Le if you have to get an excuse from your supervisor and go to the bathroom for 10 minutes uh, and begin to scream and cry that God I need you uh, matabra, that can provoke the presence of God and attract God to you lift up your voice and pray We want to see your glory. We want to see your glory. We want to experience you. We want you, Lord. We want to see you. We want to see you. We want to see you. Oh God. 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 Oh God
Come on, pray. We have 10 more minutes. Come on, pray. We have 10 more minutes. There is no more prayer topic. Just pray that God, I want to encounter you. I want to see you. I want to experience you. I need that encounter. I long for that encounter. I love that encounter. Lord, Rabakapa, Ibrantapaya, 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 Clothe me with power, clothe me with power, clothe me with power. Tarry unto you be endured. Tarry unto you are clothed with glory. Tarry unto you are clothed the power they cannot be they can they cannot be clothed with power without an encounter so karata dadaba before you are clothed you must have an encounter rapata 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 Rapata, 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 Yakapanada, Yakapanada, Elebrendega, 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 Elebradaya, Elebradaya, Muruzukoka, 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 Elebreke, Elebreke, Capatonia, Tanta, Tuta, Elecapatonia, Matata, Miku Matu, Tika, Patuta, Tata, Imacu, Matana, Matitu, Elebratuka, Pataya, Imatuna, Matina, Tata, Tata, Rapa <laughs> <laughs> 
Rababa, 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 Rab in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice and bless God. Bless God. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. He is worthy. 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 Kapa da zabrata ya ha. Ya mama zanta la maha. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, uh, you deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. La brazanta la baha. Rebe de brazen kapan de breha. In the name of Jesus, uh, I, I'm so sad because the time just went by just like that. I wish we would continue. And I know some of you be like, oh, let's continue, let's continue. But you see, principle is principle. My instruction was come and pray for one hour. So, if you want to continue, please continue. This is a playback because it's on YouTube and Facebook. So, you can go back and play back, or you can forward to where you think that the intensity is good for you, and then put that on repeat, and then keep repeating and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. Pray pray pray. Use this to pray in the morning. You can use it to pray in the afternoon. You can use it to pray in the evening. All the other episodes are there. Continue to use it to pray. I'm telling you, this prayers are makata, brother, but there is fire and intensity. They are realms. They are rams. Talit my bamu rough. They are rams. I'm telling you, you ascend onto heavenly dimensions. So by the time you realize, what my sister was telling me that we we are we are fasting and praying. So after the prayer session, she just couldn't stop praying, and she knew she wanted to go and study and bathe and all that but she just can't stop praying and the prayer kept coming 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 and by the time she realized she is quoting scriptures that she's never even heard before but no, the, the, she has read it it is in her spirit but she has forgotten and as she was praying these scriptures are coming out these scriptures are coming out it's just coming out like that yes 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 there's a dimension i want to walk in by just by me just appearing the whole atmosphere begins to change and i believe that you want the same enough of my talking we have three minutes and we are gone let me make this announcement really quick let me make this announcement really quick um for those of you in the columbus area let me just do it properly how about that yes For those of you in the Columbus area, just take a look, a quick look at the flyer. It says, Starry until Charisma Word Ministry. I am blessed to be a member and a servant in Charisma Word Ministry. I mean, there are many, many ministries in Columbus, Ohio, and they are very powerful ministries. Please, with all humility, powerful ministries. But I want to believe that Charisma is one of the best. Am I making sense? And I believe that the power and the presence of God is in this place. So tarry until ye be endued. Hosted by my own papa, the general overseer, Apostle Prince Bonsu. You see his picture right in the middle. And then we have a guest speaker. A very profound prophet of God. 
that has climbed into dimensions that God is using him in the Caribbeans, using him in Ghana, using him in the United States, using him in Europe. I'm telling you, this man, hey, fire! Bishop Solomon Palmer. He's going to be in the house and he's going to be the guest speaker. It's an impression service uh, uh, to conclude our 14 days fasting and prayer. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that is January 26th through to 29th, we are going to be in the church premises. 2975 Moss Road Street C, Columbus, Ohio, to fellowship together. Don't be a dropout, I'm telling you. If you have been following, then you know that the fire of God, ha, tara, 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 and it's the beginning of the year. So as we fellowship, God now begins to tell us mysteries and the things that he has apportioned for us and gives us instructions on what we need to do in order to be successful and, uh, and achieve the height of our goals this year. God bless you for tuning in. Uh, this is Tari Onto. This is your humble self. Uh, and oh, yes, yes. A lot of people seem to be confused about my name, Reverend Ohinikina. My entire name is Fred Ohinikina Bwati. That is my birth given name. And out of prayer and out of consultations, uh, I've decided to use my middle name, Ohinikina, as my name. Fred is still my name. Bwati is still my name. It has not changed, but I'm using Reverend Ohinikina. So if you call me Bwati, I'll respond. You call me Fred, I'll respond. You call me Arikina, I'll respond. There is no difference. All right? God bless you, and may you carry on until you are endured. God bless you so much. I am grateful to be here with you. Amen. Amen. <laughs>